Hey YouTube, Adopted Mike here, and this is the Biostar H61 MGC motherboard. And this is a uh, 1155 socket motherboard, and it will support the Ivy Bridge CPUs of 22 nanometers. Take a look at the front of the box here. Some of the features on the bottom for next gen, or rather it should be current gen Intel 22 nanometer CPUs. Let's look at the side and the top, the other side and on the back. So we've got dual DDR3 RAM, uh, so it's two RAM slots, a PCI Express by 16 slot, solid capacitors. There's three gigabit SATA on this, so it's not the ultra fast SATA. Bio screen. E hotline, HD audio out, gigabit Ethernet, the Rojos EUP charger booster bio remote 2. Okay, so now let's take a look at the inside of the box. Starting off, we have, okay, I see, just telling you about the pin cover we have the rear I.O. shield a couple of SATA connectors We've got a quick install well, quick installation guide here it's a fold out like a poster We've got a um, what's the word driver CD it's always best to uh, check it out online to make sure that you've got the newest drivers. And now we come to the motherboard itself. Okay, there it is. Starting off. Whoa. Go down to the bottom here. We can see there's a printer port capability, COM port there. There's two USB 2.0 headers. There's all of our front panel connection. There's our uh, four SATA 3 gigabit a second ports. And also we have a CMOS jumper there to erase the CMOS and a three pin fan header. Coming around this way we have a 24 pin power connector there. And nothing up there. Here's our CPU fan header. It's a four pin. Let's take a look, we've got a four pin CPU supplemental power. That looks like that will be it. Oh, oh right here we have a HD audio for the front panel connector. So that'll be it for the fan headers. We've got the one there and then the CPU there. We've got the socket is there, obviously. And then on the side here, we've got our 2 DDR3 uh, for dual channel, and this will support up to 16 gigabytes of DDR3 memory. So, moving into our slots, we have a by 16 PCI Express, and then two by one PCI Express. Then on the rear I.O., got a keyboard and mouse port, DVI, VGA, four USB 2.0, Gigabit Ethernet and then the aforementioned HD audio. A couple things to note we don't have any 6 gigabit a second SATA ports and we don't have USB 3.0. But this is kind of a budget board here, so that was definitely not the intention uh, to get you know a, a board uh, with those things. So this is just your basic Sandy Bridge, Ivy Bridge. Um, you know, well, of course, yeah, it's an H61, so. That'll, uh, not much there for overclocking or anything like that, just going to be, you know, the very basic uh, workstation type board. So that'll wrap up my unboxing of the Biostar H61 MGC motherboard. And as always, thank you for watching.